Hi friends, hope you all are doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about classification of roads as per IRC. In the previous video, we discussed about IRC, the functions of IRC, and also the development plans, the road development plans initiated by IRC at first, second, and third levels. Also, the year specifications and detailed description of that plans has been given in that video. And if you haven't watched that video, please go and check it out in the channel in my channel as that is a prerequisite to watch this video. Coming to today's video, we are discussing about classification of roads as per IRC. IRC as you all know, it is our Indian Roads Congress. So first classification is National Highway. These are the highways running throughout the length and breadth of the country. They will connect ports, foreign highways, state capitals, defense roads, large industrial centers, tourist centers, etc. So we know uh, these national highways are nothing but the main highways which run through the length and breadth of the country. They will connect many ports, foreign highways. These are the highways which also include the uh, foreign highways that is international highways, right? They will connect many capitals of states, defense roads. Okay, so coming to the financing part, the national highways are financed by the central government. These roads are financed by the central government and uh, these are maintained by the state public works department. These roads are maintained by state public works department. And the National Highway Authority of India, also the board, uh, border roads organization. Remember, these national highways are financed by central government and maintained by state public works department national highway authority of india also the border roads organization and uh, we do have 16 national highways which cross uh, around andhra pradesh and telangana uh, and also chandigarh to amritsar uh, bombay angra road is nh3 uh, like coming to the examples we have varanasi to kanyakumari that is nh7 Madras to Vishakapatnam, NH5, and uh, the one in Bombay Agra Road is NH3, Chandigarh to Amritsar is NH1. So, uh, we have nearly 218 national highways in India. Okay, coming to the second part, see this is state highways. Don't, don't, don't forget to highlight this. Huh? Sorry for this inconvenience. Uh, state highways are arterial routes of a state linking district headquarters and important cities within the state and connecting them with national highways or highways of the neighboring states okay so they will just connect important cities within the state it will link the district headquarters and it will connect them with national highways see national highways will connect us with the international highways whereas the state highways will connect us with the national highways and coming to the financement part, these state highways are financed by state government, construction and maintained by roads and buildings department, RNB department. Okay. State highways are financed by state government. Also the construction and maintenance is done by the roads and buildings department. Okay. Next coming to the third classification that is major district roads. These are the important roads within district serving areas of production and markets connecting these with each or with main highways okay whatever the main highways or state highways are there we we'll just connect this with that okay and these are financed by jilla parishads and uh, no doubt they will be taking some grants by the state government so they they will be taking some grants given by the state government so this is generally financed by Stilla Parishads with the help of grants given by state government okay this is the, these are the major district roads next we are discussing about other district roads these are the roads serving rural areas of production and providing them with outlet to market centers taluks tehsils mandal 
headquarters, block development and headquarters of other main roads. Okay, these are the other district roads. So all these fall into that category. They're generally provided uh, for serving the rural areas of production and providing them with the outlet to market. Okay, these are financed by Jilla Parishads with the help of grants given by state government. Remember, the major district roads and other district roads are financed by the Jilla Parishads with the help of grants given by the state government. Okay, whereas state highways are financed by state government and construction and maintenance is done by roads and buildings department. Whereas in case of national highways, they are financed by the central government and maintained by State Public Works Department, National Highway Authority of India and Border Roads Organization. Coming to the last classification, we have village roads. These are the roads connecting villages or group of villages with each other to the nearest road of a higher category. Okay, so nothing but village roads are classified, uh, are connected to other district roads and they are connected to major district roads. They are connected to state highways and then to the national highways. Okay, these village roads are fin uh, financed by the panchayats and with the help of grants given by Jilla Parishad and state government. In the previous cases, they were uh, financed by Jilla Parishad with the help of grants given by state government. But here, they are financed by panchayats with the help of grants given by Jilla Parishad and state government. And uh, we know we have uh, various ways of transporting all the material, men, like highways, railways, waterways, ropeways, pipelines, airways, and also the, the belt conveys these days. Huh? So everything comes under transportation engineering. But about 60% of the fleet and 87% of passenger traffic is carried by road. So that is why it is very important to discuss about all these national highways and all the classification of roads. And although the national highways will constitute only 2% of road traffic, it carries 40% of total road traffic. Okay, the national roadways, this national highways will only constitute 2% of the road network. But it carries 40% of the total road traffic. Okay, uh, generally people prefer the roadways as uh, they are easy to travel, they are safe and economy. And uh, India road network is uh, like we can say it is second largest in the, in the world. We also have National Highway Authority of India, uh, which was constituted by an act of parliament, uh, namely NHAI, we call that, right? Uh, 1988. So after that act, it has been um, developed. So it is developed uh, to maintain and manage the national highways that are entrusted to it by the central government. So we are also discussing about the National Highway Authority of India. That is, the main function of it is to develop, maintain and manage the national highways entrusted to it by the central government. Okay. We also have border roads organization. So that is it for this video guys. If you like the video, please like, share, comment to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.